Hi there! Welcome back! I am really excited to play this level. We're going into the third flashback. You can see the trophy that you win for this is a pair of women's underwear. I'm really happy to be doing this one because you get to be Ajax again. And it's a really long board. There's a lot of brawling, which is pretty much Ajax in his element. And it's just fighting all the way through. Uh, pretty much starting out from the beginning in the uh, first level of the game where you're Rembrandt and they're showing you your fight moves and your grab moves and blah 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 we're in the same place this is how Ajax and Snow join the Warriors so very cool uh, one thing I neglected to mention when I did the uh, the last video where I was Ajax. Alright, we gotta start fighting here. Just mount this guy and just pound on him. No, no, hold on. Yeah, this guy likes to wrestle. What's up with that? But anyway. Uh, three years after the Warriors came out, James Remar was in uh, an Eddie Murphy movie uh, called 48 Hours. Not only was he in that movie, but so was the guy that plays Luther, who is the leader of the rogues. That sick-ass little weirdo. Little troublemaker. They're both in that movie, too. And James Remar is a sick, twisted psychopath in that movie. And his performance is awesome. You really, just, you really believe it. He's just twisted in, in that movie. So, come on, come on. Going to uh, try to stay up against this wall if I can. The high score for this is 7,000. It's not really that hard to hit since there's so much brawling and it's so long. And as far as bonus objectives go, there's uh, only two. There's only two bonus objectives and we're not going to see them till the very end. And they're hard. <laughs> and they take a while to do. I'm not going to spoil it, but yeah, yeah, there you go, biatch, but I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to save that for the end and just kind of spring it on you, just keep fighting, once again, Ajax and his element, this is what he does. And we're already at, like, we're over 1,600 points just in this beginning segment. The uh, high score isn't difficult to hit here at all. Yep, there he is. Cocky prick. You guys are definitely warrior material. We're going to a party later on. You guys should come But, on. like I said, James Remar has been around forever. And he's just... He's so diverse. I mean, if you look at all the things that he's been in, TV shows, video games... Uh, animated TV shows, movies, I mean, he's just got a really diverse portfolio. Uh, one of the recent things uh, that he was in is the Vampire Diaries. And there's this, uh, there's this lady at my job, her name's Tony, and she was telling me for years, oh, you have to watch True Blood, oh, you, you know, you like vampire stuff, you have to watch True Blood, and then I tried to watch it, and it's just... I think you gotta be a chick to enjoy it. It was just way too gay for me. I think you gotta be a girl to enjoy that. So, I never really did watch the Vampire Diaries at all. And then, finally, I gave it a chance, and it wasn't near as gay as I thought it was gonna be. You know what I mean? It's actually really, really good. And, uh, you know, a season or two into it, no, I was, you know, pretty heavy into it. I was watching them all back to back, and Lo and behold, there's James Remar. Plays the father of the two main vampires. So, you know, the guy's still working. Alright. These two people over here, I'm going to mug both of them because they're, uh... There's a Flash dealer coming up here in a little bit. We're going to want to buy some Flash. There's a lot of brawling in this. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> I love this guy. All right, where'd that lady go? There she is. What's up, baby? Come on. Now, don't you run from me, baby. Don't you run. Come on. There she is. This lady, actually, right here, this icon or whatever, she is all over this board. It's like the same woman. You know, you beat her up and then you run down the street and the same lady is just walking. It's the exact... They only made a character of one woman for this whole level. It's kind of a trip. Yeah. Hey man, check this out. But like I said, this guy's got a really diverse portfolio. I mean, he's played cops all over the place. Like he was in uh, what was the the third Blade movie, Trinity. The thing was, you know, he was a cop in that. He's cops all over the place. But uh, I don't remember if it was HBO or Showtime. But he was in Sex in the City. He was all over Sex in the City, and which I can say with a lot of pride, I have never one time ever seen any episodes of Sex in the City. I have not seen one episode at all, and I take great pride in that. Right, this right here. I tell Snow to hold up, and I'm going to mug some people. Notice it's that same lady again. I'm going to mug some people because there's a flash dealer right down the street. And we only had $23. So maybe if I mug one more person, we might be able to buy two. Same lady. Here we go. Let's do this the easy way. Like I said, there's only one woman. <laughs> there's dozens of her, but it's the same lady every time in this whole level. Alright, in this store over to the... Hold on, turn back around. Alright, this store right here. You can see the flash dealer. Most of the time, this guy will take your money. Not always, but most of the time he will. Yeah. Yeah, like that. But not always, and that's why I always go in and check. Hold on, we got to follow the icon on the map. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, it disappeared. Look at that. It's a dead end, and the guy just disappears into thin air. What is up with that? But, since we're all the way, all the way over here... There she is again. What's happening, baby? Mm-hmm. I guess you just own this block. And, uh, yeah, I wanted a weapon. I'm going to take a butcher's knife. Since we're about to go fight a bunch of destroyers. So the destroyers took our vests. We just became warriors. There's that lady again. And we got to go get our vest back. There's a destroyer in here. His name's Beansy. And he's got the uh, the yellow icon over his head. We cannot beat him down. We're supposed to interrogate him. If we beat him up, it's over. We have to do this all over again. Man, Ajax is awesome. Yeah, you see him there. But we can't beat him down. Oh, he has almost no health, too. Alright, let's get him before Snow does. Alright, very nice. And get a little bit of cash, too. Saw James Remar a few years ago in a movie called uh, Boys on the Side, which I wouldn't have watched if uh, Drew Barrymore wasn't in it. I like Drew Barrymore. She's kind of a free spirit, you know what I mean? And didn't so much enjoy the movie. Didn't like it that much, but... Since I had to sit through it, at least James Remar was in it, which is always cool. You know, he did a voice in Ratatouille. I mean, this guy's portfolio is just... The guy's been working for decades and decades, and he's still going. Alright, just run around. Okay. We're looking for Lemmy, who's got the first vest. He's got one of our vests, and we have to beat down, you want to beat down, all the destroyers on the way to him. Because if you just run past them all and get to Lemmy, all the guys that you didn't beat down on the way there will all attack you at once. 
So we're going oh, over to the left. Got a flash dealer. You're gonna fight like an animal. And I only had $58, so I'm just going to take one and get our money back. But you don't want to miss any because they'll jump on you when you're trying to interrogate them to get your vest. Yeah. Which is all good. Your Ajax just beat the shit out of everybody. That's what he does. Yeah. Just like that. And another flash right there. See, we're all filled up on flash now. Alright, see the shanty town we're running through? When you finally get to Lemmy, he starts running. Yeah, and you have to chase him down. Right, bust through here. There'll be more guys on the right. He will be jumping on top of the, you know, the shanty town and everything to get away, and you'll have to chase him down. But you'll have to beat off all the other guys first, or they won't let you interrogate him. But just to hit the high score, which, like I said, you can accidentally hit the high score in this. It's not difficult to get, but I still do a lot of head smashes anyway. Just because they're awesome. Okay, way over in the corner, you see one destroyer. I don't know what he's doing. He's taking a leak or something, but he's just standing there facing the corner. Not real sure what's up with that. Punch in your shit. And keep moving. Hop this fence, and on the left should be three more guys. Every time, just standing in the same place. Ah, man, I love this guy's moves. And he's just a full-on puncher. Left, right, left. I've said it before. Man. It's just cool. Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice. I got my rage. Yeah. Put these guys down. Oh, they didn't give it to me. No, oh, he's too close to the wall. They're not going to give it to me. Oh well, let him up. Biatch. Alright, moving on. Over this fence. Lemmy is over to the right. Obviously with some backup. If you look over to the right right there, there's a fence you can bust through to get there. And it takes you to the same place as uh, this chain link fence over here. I don't like to bust through the wood fence because you open a hole for it. Lemmy runs from you and you have to chase him down. You open a hole for him to run through. I try to keep him inside this area if I can. Which doesn't always happen. But beat off these destroyers first because they won't let you interrogate him. And if you look at his icon on the map, he's just running around, running around. Yeah. Right, what was that all about? So it should only be two guys because we beat off everybody else on the way here. <laughs> we beat off everybody else. <laughs> Alright, put this guy down. Yeah, come on. Come on, give me something. Nah, they're not going to give it to me. Oh, well. Whatever. Alright, and all that's left is Lemmy. We have to interrogate, so we're gonna have to chase him. Oh no, we don't. <laughs> Looks like snow threw him through that uh, that barrel, and he was on fire, so he wasn't running. Wow, that was easy. I didn't do nothing, man. All right, well there you go. <clears throat> yeah, see, look at how much health he has. He's kind of tough to beat down, but. <laughs> Then again, nobody's really difficult to beat down when you're Ajax. Glad to have this baby back. Good. All right. Yeah, come on. I don't know what I'm looking for. All right, moving on. Next part. Need our next vest. And run out of the shanty town into the street. There's a police officer on this street. Let's beat him down because we're Ajax. 
There's that same lady. <laughs> There's only one woman in this whole town. Lost him up. Man, I got handcuffs from that too. Over to the left is the uh, is the store we can bust into for money. And I'll go ahead and take a flash because I got more there. Should be another cop coming too. Whenever you bust in here, there's only one police officer on this street. And we're, yeah, we just passed the high score, so that's not even an issue now. But, we'll just take out the police, because Ajax has no fear. Yeah. <laughs> Bust him down. Bust him down. <laughs> Ajax is awesome. Got more handcuffs. Cool. Alright, this store over here. This is the way to LC. Yeah, we was just wondering if we could cut through your shop into the building next door. It's real important. You think I'm letting you in a cage? Get the hell out of my store, you hoods. I bet we could change the attitude by wrecking the joint. Yep, this guy's locked in a cage and he won't come out. So, gotta make him come out. So let's bust up his store. <laughs> you start smashing up and he'll come out. And here he comes. He tried to throw his bat at us. He was way off on that one. You know what? We'll just put him on the ground since I just happen to be carrying handcuffs. And we'll just loot the whole store now. I remember seeing James Remar in a movie. It was called Fatal Instinct, and it was a uh, it was like a parody of both uh, what was it, Basic Instinct and Fatal Attraction. Right, beat him down, and it was like you know the silly, stupid humor, like the the Naked Gun movies. You know anything Leslie Nielsen did in the the last <laughs> the last years of his life. That kind of stupid comedy. I liked it. I like that kind of stuff. And LC here. I mean, you've seen him in other levels. He doesn't give you the impression like he's uh, like a real strong fighter or anything. But look, he's got a lot of health. So you got to spend a little time. He's got a lot of health probably because he's so high. You know, he is uh, Virgil's junky bitch. So he's completely high off his ass and feeling no pain. That's probably why he's so tough to beat down but get my rage move and the uh, the hot black woman who did not want to give it up for LC likes her some Ajax apparently and snow left out in the cold Get it? Snow? Cold? Okay. We're coming up on the final... The bonus objectives. There's two bonus objectives. They're both in the same place. They're right here. And both of them are kind of a bitch. So what I'm going to do is there the icon is on the map there's a red icon on the map what I'm gonna do is run over to it but I'm not gonna actually run into it because we have to hit our bonus objectives basically you're being chased by dozens and dozens of destroyers okay there it is bonus objective wreck 10 destroyers And the icon to leave is right around the corner. So I like to fight him right here so when we're done, we can just run right out of here. But these guys keep coming. I mean, there's not so many right now, but they keep coming. And the more you beat down, the more show up. So this is the first of two bonus objectives before we run out of here. And there's so many of these guys. And I wouldn't worry about snow right here. Snow 
is going to get beat down. Rage, come on. Rage. Yeah. And another thing that's really irritating about this is it doesn't always give you your rage move. I got the ground one right there, but I'm sure it's going to happen again. I'm going to try and a lot of times it won't give you your rage move, so I recommend head smashing. Head smashing all over the place. Yeah, come on, I'm in the red. But, thank God we're filled up on flash. And it's all over the place. Like I said, the best things to do are head smashes because they're surrounding you. And, you know, you try to grab a guy and another one hits you from behind and then a guy cross bodies you, you know. And hit my rage again. Alright, let's see if they give me the rage moves because they don't always. Oh, give it to me that time. Yeah. Very nice. Since we have to wreck ten of these guys, see, and didn't give it to me that time. The rage moves will take out any of your attackers in one shot. That's what's so great about those. But they don't always let you have them. Let's stay up against the wall and just keep smashing these heads. Come on, you wimp. Come on, little fucking wimp. Let's flash over there, grab it. And see these guys just keep spawning out of nowhere, you know what I mean? They just keep running up on you. Alright, got the rage again. Yeah! And gave me the first one, didn't give me the second one. So, get back up against the wall if you can. And snow's down, finally! Usually snow goes down a lot quicker than this. He put up a fight this time. Alright, first bonus objective complete. Think it's done? It's not. Wreck 15 more destroyers. Before you get out of here, this just doesn't end. It just keeps going on and on and on. Well, we're still full on our flash. So I'm actually, you know, as much as I'm getting beat down here, I'm actually not doing too bad. And didn't give it to me that time didn't give it to me that time either. See, it's... That's kind of frustrating. And let me go, fool. Ah, they're everywhere. Come on. Put them down. But this part is hard, and it can be frustrating. But it's also a lot of fun. This is just awesome. You're a really powerhouse fighter, and you're just beating down guys left and right, dude. It's badass. I love this. So, I'm just going to click my rage and just keep doing head smashes since they're not giving me the, uh, the rage power moves. Keep doing that. <laughs> Yeah, keep going. God, there can't be that many left. How many guys have I... How many guys have I put down so far? There can't be that many left. God, I got my rage again. Come on. Nope. See? Oh, no, no. I don't want to get way out here. Get back up against the wall. Get back up against the wall. Don't want to be completely surrounded on all sides. Alright, all good. Ugh, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> this is awesome, dude. There it is. There it is. We did it. We can get out of here. I'll tell you what, since I went through all this trouble, how come none of these guys have a hat on? The destroyers were like, uh, Backwards ball caps. There's one. 
tell you what, I still got three flash. I'm not getting out of here until I get this guy's head. Come on. There it is. There it is. Got it. Ha <laughs> ha. There it is. Not only did I finish both bonus objectives, get the high score, I got a head at the end. Come on. There it is. We're done. Really long board. The end is really hard. This is so much fun. Very cool. And we're back on our turf. There's the Wonder Wheel. Yeah. Well, what are you waiting for? Hey, Alright, the next flashback level is, is really cool too. Uh, we're going through Chinatown and we're Fox. I will see y'all then. Thank you so much for watching.